Uh, hello guys, my name is uh, Furwin Jax, and today I'll be showing you how to play DayZ on 1.7.2.5. That is the newest version in the uh, alpha pre-release right now. So first off, obviously, uh, you'll need to go to your Steam, and you will obviously need to purchase uh, Armor 2 combined, combined Operations, or Armor 2 and Armor 2 uh, Operation Arrowhead. And you have to run those games uh, before you even uh, go about doing this. And you want to run Steam as administrator like that. Right click, run as administrator, and then uh, play those games. And then um, after that, we're going to be using a Daisy Commander because, frankly, it's a lot better than a 6 Updater. 6 Updater is really slow and has a lot of, uh, a lot of problems. Like right now when I'm recording this, uh, 6 updater hasn't even updated to 1.7.2.5 and DayZ Commander has. So as soon as a new update comes out, DayZ Commander already has it. You can automatically update from there. But um, So we're going to go about uh, downloading DayZ Commander. So you're going to go to your uh, um, browser of choice. Go to uh, new window, type in DayZ Commander. Go to its homepage, DayZCommander.com. Scroll all the way down and hit Get Daisy Commander. Download that. Double click on it. Um, hit Run. And then uh, you're going to go through the whole setup wizard. And uh, I already have it downloaded. So um, I'm just going to go to Cancel. Yes. Close. After that, it's going to pop up on your desktop or wherever else you put it. Um, double click on it, hit yes, and um, that's going to pop up, um, it's just going to show you all of its servers, and what's going to do is that um, it either will automatically install it, because I had DayZ pre-installed, uh, I was running 6 updater, then I switched to DayZ Commander, um, if it doesn't automatically install it, um, or even if you think it does, go up here to, to uh, versions, Hit that, and um, you'll see all these uh, Daisy Commander Armor 2 and Daisy, and uh, it'll either hit uh, install and update or install or update. Just hit that, and um, it'll install it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it, it will definitely install it for you because that, it, it did it for me. I uh, restarted my whole thing. I deleted all my folders. So yeah, you're gonna go there to, uh, to versions, right up here on the top. Hit install or update. And um, you're good. I mean, that's that's really it. Uh, Daisy Commander is really fast. Um, it's faster than Six Updater. Um, and I mean, th I think 1.7.2.5 came out yesterday or two days ago, and I think Daisy Commander had it day one. And Six Updater still doesn't have it. So um, that's what you do to update it. So like when 1.7.2.6 comes out, you just go to versions and hit update. Or even uh, updating Armor 2 or DayZ Commander. Just go there and update them all. Check now if you want to. But um, that's it. Uh, you can set your filters here. Like you can go to 1.7.2.5 to make sure that uh, you know, you're playing on the latest server, on the latest patch. Max ping. I usually like to uh, set mine to 110 or so. Um, I go to hide full. Don't really care about survivor count. Um, any time of day, I hit day only. You know, the filters are just really nice here, and it tells you uh, the ping and the settings on here, and the version, obviously, and um, what the time is during the day in the uh, in the actual server. So, um, yeah, Daisy Commander is really the best. Um, there's a lot of other ones out there that are pretty good, too. Just don't use 6 Updater. Do it manually, even. Um, but definitely try out Daisy Commander. It's really easy to use. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.